here. We're looking at App State right now where we have a few clouds, but overall it's a really nice start to our day in the mountains. A really nice start to the afternoon. As we're going through the afternoon, though, we do have that 20% chance of an isolated thunderstorm, especially late afternoon, early evening. A few afternoon showers are possible in the mountains, but still a lot of sun and temperatures getting into the upper 70s. The foothills is much more calm than it has been. Temperatures in the mid 80s, still pretty humid out there, but still an improvement from where we have been. And in the triad, we're looking at 87 degrees for that high today. Clouds and sun and a lesser rain chance, but still a 20% chance as we go through the afternoon. Afternoon. Here's a look at where we are right now. Nice and dry all throughout the area and temperatures pretty mild as well. We're in the low 80s and all throughout the southeast. We're looking at warmer temperatures getting into the 90s in some spots there in Georgia and in Florida. We'll be there soon though. Enjoy the cooler temperatures while it lasts and enjoy the dry spell while it lasts. Well, the day of dry weather by tomorrow. We are back to a threat of thunderstorms as we go into the afternoon, especially our biggest threats will be those heavy downpours. That that can cause flooding, frequent lightning. At this point, that damaging wind threat looks low, but of course, we'll be keeping this updated as we get closer to the system and as it shapes up. Here's what it looks like right now. As we go into the afternoon, those clouds will return today, so enjoy the sunshine while it lasts. And then as we get into the later part of the afternoon into the evening, those showers start to pop up, mostly in the mountains, a few in the foothills, and then even fewer making it down into the Piedmont. Temperatures climbing into the upper 80s and then cooling down into the mid 60s tonight night back into warm temperatures tomorrow and back into stormy weather. This is 6 p.m. So it looks like we could be seeing issues right around that evening commute. As we get into those purples, we're talking about very heavy rainfall, some isolated thunderstorms possible, and those damaging winds will come with the thunderstorms at this point. And of course, that thunder and lightning. It takes a while to move through, so flooding is definitely a potential. This is 9 p.m. on Wednesday, and we're still watching it slowly creep out of our area. A lot different from the storm we had yesterday that moved through within the matter of less than an hour in most spots. As we go into the end of August, though, temperatures expected to climb warmer than normal and by quite a bit. So expect those 90s to return to our area, but you can also see some drier skies, more sun as we go into next week. So that's something to look forward to. But this week's forecast is still a little messy out there. Temperatures in the low 80s for the most part all the way through the seven day until the weekend when we get back into the mid 80s by the end of the weekend. We have a threat for strong to severe storms. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and on Saturday. So we're back to that active pattern. But thankfully, after that, we do things, see things improve down to a 20% chance for a weak thunderstorm Sunday and then much lower rain chances for next week.